five, four, three, two, one. You're live with Neve. How's everybody doing? Four o'clock here on the East Coast. Come on on, Julie. There's no point. We might as well get quick, quit with the foreplay and let's just get to it. <laughs> hey, I like foreplay. <laughs> I need some of that. What are you talking about? Oh, I know. I know. It's always it's a good part of any healthy relationship. <laughs> How are you today? Mm-hmm. I'm great. How about Veronica? Do you agree with that st- sentiment? <laughs> uh, which, uh, Poor Veronica. She, Oh yeah, hi Veronica. Good day every day with you. Hey, I know. I we love got all our friends Veronica. from down under. Under. Yep. Under as in underlings or underwear. I don't know. No, I under as in Australia, the land Australia. of enchantment. Yeah, but I, man, we've got it. To, all those lovely ladies with that accent. And those guys with that accent. Oh my gosh, Hugh Jackman, you know, all those fun people. Yeah. We are. I, I love the Aussies. They're just great people. They like. They to really are. Sit around, eat meat. You know, there's not a bunch of pita freaks down there. Well, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, to, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was going to say I'm a member of PETA too. People eating tasty animals. <laughs> great acronym. Best. Really. The best. That's... I mean, really. What can I tell you? So, what are you doing this weekend, Julie? Well, let's see. We've got oh, so early. It's six oh two a.m. Veronica, God bless you, man. Oh, almighty, God, poor girl. Thank She's you. Getting up early. She's thank Have you, been you up all so night? much. Thank you. We'll send her an invite and bring her on. <laughs> Veronica, um, you just rolled out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, I want to see you. what are you wearing? Oh Jesus, God! It's okay, Veronica. <laughs> you, you can talk to Uncle Daddy. I mean, oh, Big Daddy. <laughs> it uncle? I'm not sure. Uh, it started off so, with Uncle Daddy Perv or something, and then it was Neat Big Perv. Daddy Perv. There you go. That was it. But Big Daddy Candy, I like the sound of that. It is. You like that, candy, that's... Julie? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's even better, Veronica. What are you wearing? Poor Veronica. <laughs> Poor girl. I'm, I'm, here I am sexually harassing her live on she the air. She just woke up. <laughs> I, I'm, she's woke. She's woke. Definitely. She just got up. She just woke up and everything. And yeah, there you go. Well, I'm hoping you're happy. Yeah. You're going to have a good day, in, uh, Veronica. Yeah. So this weekend, anyways, yeah, we've got, um, I've got a lot of stuff going on. I've got, uh, well, we've got, let's talk about what we've got. What do we have tonight? Wow. Tomorrow? Twice tomorrow, tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. We have uh, Halloween Fun Fest. Uh, we have the hot, ha- 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 ha. I'm starting to get a stutter. I'm so excited. Yeah. And that was Islands. exciting. Horror festival tonight. Film festival, right? And tomorrow. There... Pardon? Is it is it a film festival? It's Halloween. It is, it oh, is it a film it? festival. High... Okay. Highlands horrific Halloween fest. I'm <laughs> adding to it as we go. That's, it doesn't have the right room. That's great. Right. To... Welcome. Uh, yeah, to a... the Halloween horror fest. You film fest. Halloween horror home. film fest. So it's going to be great. You're going to be there. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I will be. I'm going to be circulating, lurking in the shadows. Never know Mm -hmm. where my camera might pop up. But you'll be broadcasting live from uh, the Highlands. Was it the Borough 22nd? What was the the, address? uh, Borough Recreational Complex down here in Mm -hmm. beautiful Highlands. And if you get to town, um, you'll be able to find it. It's not hard to find our little rec center. They're not hard to find much here in this town because it's a small little town. 
So for all you folks who are so if not, you're in Highlands, yeah, go ahead, Julie. Let me answer your question. Go ahead. Yeah. So, so everyone who's in Highlands and in the area, surrounding area, they the want to be Robinson, okay, great, they and they want to be at, it, to the to the rec center, right? That's what's that's, that's the correct. borough. What's the, the borough what's rec the center? Time? Okay, uh, and six o'clock. Um, they've got bunch of great films tonight i don't have the list in front of me but they have today and tomorrow special showing at two o'clock for the young people and uh, okay it's going to be great i have to say um our friend rob kneller has uh done a great job curating an amazing collection of films i really like the guys today who are coming on it's like so much reminds they me were of great energy at, at full sale you know when i graduated there I remember being in their same shoe, working up, trying to find musicians to work in our final video and, you know, all kinds of fun stuff. It's, oh, people right, always right. complain about young people, but yeah. they'll do fine. You know, the only people I ever hear bitch about the young people are folks who don't have any kids or all the kids they know are just fucking savages. And uh, if that's the case, you know, they might have a well, jaded I... outlook. Huh? I mean, <laughs> some of these children, um, you could say that I was an excitable boy. It's hot in Austin now. Need I say and more? There you go. Yeah, baby. We like it hot. <laughs> We're going into winter, and they're uh, getting into it is their hot too. season. Um, are there any uh, it's well, in Florida, it's hot. or crocodiles or koala bears or poisonous bitey things uh, near your house today? <laughs> you know, here in, in the States, we see a bug, and unless it's like a black widow or something, most of us just kill it and move on. I don't have to have time to no, don't kill give them. Ta taxonomic. Oh, you know, it's a bug. I'm sorry. You know, maybe you have yeah, to save the bug bug. thing next. Save the insects that will eat you when you die. Yeah, it's a special well, documentary yeah. on national pubic radio. <laughs> I can't go on this morning. I, I've had to listen to some of that crap today, and I'm telling you what, that's, they just should be flogged, the, the amount of bullshit they serve us up. And the fact well, is, we pay for it. They're well, competing remember, directly with us. Yes, and remember, they they're... Our show, if they, want, if they really want, you know, some, like, I don't know, be, you know, politically correct, we're kind of... I'm a white guy, man. People hate me. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm the cause of all of the world's ruin, I'm told. So I, I'm tired of it, man. I'm just... I'm going golf, man. Um, I'm oh, nice. Really? Total, total full on. John Galt is where you're going. Oh, the blue tongue, the blue tongued lizard is cruising in its crib. Hey, do you really have a blue tongued lizard? I thought that was just a nickname I got years ago. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it. Hey, I hey, think that's Irish. What they called Harvey Weinstein. I'm not sure. <laughs> he had a purple so, uh, tongue. God only knows what from. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, so you were uh, saying about? Um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. We, we were kind of going all over the place there <laughs> with Veronica. Oh, for Veronica. Yeah, so, Veronica, man, she's down there teasing us. Yeah, well, we're teasing you. Um, <laughs> I'm sending this here. Uh, here you, you go, take Irish. Blonde, I'll take the one in the turban. There you go, Irish. Here I'm saying this. It's going out all over the place. Her name is Queen Irish, Lizzie. No wow. Irish is getting it right now. Wait, I don't know wait. if they can get the link off of the screen, can they? I, I don't know. Her name, Her is, name is Queen, Queen Lizzie. Lizzie. <laughs> nice, nice, oh, man, Veronica. Cool. So is she your actual, the actual lizard? Is that your pet? Is it bitey? Oh. We gotta send her a link. But you know, it's early in the morning. Waking up with a blue tongue lizard. I don't know. It's a redhead lizard. Here he is. <laughs> Hey, it Irish sounds is like coming we're over. Have a blue oh my gosh! Red state red clash red here with some kind of a political statement. I'm not sure. Basically, if you're here in no, Australia, this is the, the political uh, thing for today. The political news for Australia: fucked up and getting hotter. As for here <laughs> in the states, well, we don't really know what... We'll let you know when the president does. He's he's got nothing on his schedule today. So apparently, Joe's eating ice cream, and they're having uh, they have a band at the at the home for him and. He's enjoying it. He really likes those polkas and stuff. You know, Joe can cut the rug. He really can. Really? Is he a good dancer? I also, oh, it's her son's pet. Yes, she doesn't, she doesn't bite, bite but really do. <laughs> Oh, very interesting. I've had that problem in my life, too. Interesting. Some, some people I know like that. Thanks for the so, info. Oh, yes, got, go ahead. Uh, Rick Davis is blaming Biden. Uh, somebody else has got to come on and snap uh, some Republican... 
idiot. There's a couple of those too that we can name. But Biden, so, anyways, you know, he's, um, he's getting to the point. He's just too much of a. It's like hitting a pinata or throwing a three-year-old kid out bush gardens, stealing his candy to throw the snakes. Kind of just lost its allure. <laughs> Julie's gonna have no fucking idea what he's doing oh, no. today's show. <laughs> the truth is, neither do I. People. Um, <laughs> well, there you go. Well, at we least you can express that in an entertaining fashion. Yes, this is so a special. We have so this morning we had some really cool. We had some cool people on this morning. We had the two filmmakers from for the for tonight's uh, horror, Highlands Horror Film Fest, right? And then it was for uh, uh, um, the Bob, what was the name of the tapes? The Bob, oh gosh, I don't want to butcher, butcher the Something title about of the Rob. movie. Is that uh, the Rob we're tapes? We're failing our, our memory retention. I know, I don't remember. Uh, you know, but I, anyways. I it on my ganja, man. Well, it's going to be great tonight. And those guys were awesome this morning, having them on the show. And then we had Hira as well as um, a new a new mu musician that came on. Um, mm -hmm. And he was he was Italian, uh, uh, Italian immigrant who work who lives in uh, Texas. Right. Is that where he was? Yeah, he's got a cowboy I, hat and he can make you a hell of a damn ass and a pasta. With a beautiful Italian accent all the way. So you get to hear that, oh, yeah. too. And you shared with us uh, some some cool stuff that he does and what was the name of the instrument that he had that was like a violin he said it was tuned that way he had a bazooki a bazooki and what and yes. and why is it called a bazooki it's like a euro sometimes they call it a gyro this is like a bizarchy or a bizarchy um actually it's just a bazooki and uh it's a i believe six stringed instrument and i don't is it exactly the tuning it was fairly it's like yeah he said it was like i know that it was D A D G, I think he said. So yeah, the bottom, yeah, the bottom sense. string was, yeah, I yeah. So yeah. at any rate, it was a lot. It, it sounded really cool. In fact, if anybody hasn't seen the morning show, it was kind of fun, and uh, it's PG, so you don't have to fear. Oh, for it was always fun. Watching. Um, now this show, people. Oh well, I don't know about PG. <laughs> just started on the replay. Oh, I'm filling you in here, Julie. I love it. Just I know. Go right ahead. Down, huh? So I guess yeah, um, that's quite all right. Show, in three minutes, we're going to bring up some uh, Leland Sklar, who is a lot funnier than I. Yes, am and has a hell of a lot more shackles in the bank. So I love well, Leland. Leland's. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, Leland's just a spectacular human and animal. Uh, I love the guy. He's. I've been listening to him since I was a kid and playing on stuff wow. or listening to things he worked on. And uh, wow, I mean, I can think back to James Taylor's first record, uh, the one that got him, in, you know, started in the business, really. But he's just a tremendous player, nice guy, humble, just super. I, mean, I can't say anything more. And so, so was he wherever you are, buddy, <laughs> the Leland Squire bird. So was he one of your heroes? And 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 when you when we had him on the show, it was like the first time. It was uh, yeah. I'm not usually too you know starstruck or any of that. No, crap. yeah, um, you're not. You know, I just watched Madonna. Now I tell you, Madonna needs to come out with me. We need to go out on a date. I gotta <laughs> get the girl needs some help. Poor Madonna. She may uh, oh you. her yeah. She, you may be in for some. I you may be over your head. I might be over my right, head. May, what do you think? Uh, oh, I think yeah. Irish can handle Madonna. You may be in for some. I may be over your head. Hey, Irish. Got the spinner. Yeah, we need, hey, Irish, can you uh, get your headphones on or something? Because we we're getting feedback we on that. We can't hear you. Your mic's off. You're all fucked up, man. You can't no, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you dance. Irish, can you get your yeah. headphones he's, on? He's all confused. Or His mic's on guy, now. Because we're getting feedback on yeah, that. Your mic's I've got no headphones. They, no, my I, cats yeah, hate them. I got no speakers. He ain't got no headphones. Ain't got no records to play. This ain't no. Oh, uh, yeah. I hey, I Howdy, Toby. Can you turn something. Can you turn something down? Because you're like, because we just hear ourselves in the back. <laughs> Poor Irish. Oh, hi, Toby. Uh, Toby's Hope Toby's sweet. doing she's well. There. Doing her thing. Day. Oh, she's, she's out always there saving the world from crap music. That's our girl. She, she really girl does. From Boulevard. She. She is. She does a public service every Absolutely. day. I, I think we should it, get her. It, a it grant. really is. She really needs like an NPR grant, uh, National Pubic Radio. Yeah. 
You know what I think we should do is ask everybody to um, – they should just basically write in to NPR that they demand the Live with Neve show. And that we're just there going go. on there and all those sappy journalists, what we're going to do is we're going to take the show on the road and I'm just going to write out that we are taking over NPR places all over the country and we'll just go to them one by one and scare the hell out of them. I'm always up I for scaring they, people. Why not? I, I think, <laughs> you know, we can change up the uh, whole language barrier. That means the fuck word can be said. I don't care what some musty old turd wrote like 1960 the fcc's full of musty old turd lawyers too another oh, they, to keep an eye on no we just, don't have to I, hear online not, not i know yet. i'm just saying i want to be live on npr with some of that congress cash oh. yeah that's a yeah, good thing maybe. yeah i mean that tells you hey you know what let's go to a quick break really quick and now we'll come right back All right is that okay is that cool with you i think it's okay is it okay with uh, our two guests I think uh, so. Yeah, I think that. All right. I'm going to get right pissed at the... So that's scared. tonight. That's see, I'm look scared. at that. I'm terrified. I think I need. I think I need a, a, a cleansing. Do you need a cleansing? Yes, we need spear. Where is that man? Well, um, <laughs> I, I'm not going to go there. The truth, I'm not really sure where he is. To be honest with you, last I heard, he was at some casino gambling. Yeah, I'm not alleged gonna... encounter with some knife wielding assailant. <laughs> we. So I just, I, I can't even fathom. I, I don't want to speculate, but I know that he's a humble man, and he might have been carrying that damn Egyptian dagger he found out in the cemetery. It could have been all kind That's of fuckery right. going on. Yeah, maybe it was cursing. Might have been some dude. kind of an entity thing, kind of stalking mm -hmm. him around as he drives. That's a new movie. This trucker's driving around the country. Really? And he's got some yeah. lunatic like me who's like secretly hiding in the back as we start driving down the road. And then, and I'm then back, what? And I'm like, mm-hmm. And when he looks around at it, he goes, Who the fuck are you? So you're you're you're, you're not you're not verbalizing. Entity. I'm kind of a really mute I'm a mute ghost. Okay, so you so can't I verbalize. To kind of, I throw I hit him in the head with cups and stuff, you know, throw pa shoot paper clips at him. He's driving along, it's all <laughs> rubber band. Rubber band in the head, a wet willy in his ear, yeah, in their you know, ear. Wet yeah. willy. Oh, I don't know if I'm putting my. I don't think so. I'm not doing his ears. It's a little, little personal, you know. You have to hire someone for that kind of duty in New York, you know. Well, part hey, whole, you... it's part of the girlfriend experience. <laughs> oh, What's wrong with you? Ah, you have so many problems. I love it. <laughs> we have so many problems here. You, we you really do. We have problems. I'm here. Like, you. Everybody on our cast has so has problems. It is so great. It's so hilarious. Mike and his, hey, man, you know what? You're not going to have to work another 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 day this week. You know why? Because I'm going to win tonight. I'm going to win the lot. I'm going to win the bingo. Oh, yeah, That's there right, you man. I'm coming for you, man. <laughs> Does that not drive you absolutely nuts if you go in a convenience store? To me, it's anything but convenient. You might get shot and killed. You know, you might, I mean, God almighty. Oh, God, I don't know. I, I, when I go in one, I'm just like assigning a threat level to everybody. 
I'm thinking I could grab up a can <laughs> That's of probably a cream smart. corn and drown somebody right in the forehead with it. Dunk! Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just like, exactly. like dunk. And if you have another problem, you give him a second round just to see if he's finally civilized himself. Remember, people, an armed society is a polite society. That's how it's, Neil uh, rolls. I'm, yeah, I, I use my... I, 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 a nice, a smart guy. How big <laughs> yes. is it, Julie? I, I was going gun? to... No, what I was going to say was... My, um, uh, I use my, my tongue as a, I like to verbally eviscerate people. That's my, uh, my, uh, the oh, I way I some other, fight I and argue. All excited here. Oh, you sorry. Know. No, uh, this is short yeah, tongue too. Some uh. kind of cogn- uh. cognitive dissonance. All right. Put uh. your tongue away. How, some... oh, it's cool. Wait, how long is Gene Simmons tongue? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to compare. <laughs> Dude, that's messed up. No wonder. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? Guess who's waiting in the wings? I Mr. guess, um, I don't know. Is your uncle, is he waiting in the tool shed or what's going on? I know. Uh, Mr. Leland Sklar is uh, oh, here oh, with us. You mean that guy? <laughs> this guy, the Leland Sklar bird. Yes. That's Do we right. want to have him on? Bring him on? Absolutely. Let's bring him on and see what he's got to say. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, no, not this one. Yeah, I want to do make sure I get the right on one. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, gosh. There we go. Yeah, well, you, we me go. and her, and Ignition. you, me and I, I don't know. You, me and her. If you're honestly. on, send me some, please, because that sounds perfect. I think it's, yeah, really, um, I think it's, it's been a long day. Yeah. Uh, so um, it is cool you're going on a tour. Um, actually, let's get out of this formal crap. Let's talk just briefly. Um, what is the strangest question you've ever gotten asked? <laughs> In all these years you've been doing, have you ever had one question you just thought to yourself, where the hell did this come from? Well, where the fucking hell? Just say it. You know, let, me, let me give a little thought to that because... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You know, the thing that drives me crazy is usually like you're in the middle of stuff and then you always get the word, how long you had your beard, man? <laughs> oh, you know, you go, really? What beard? What are you After talking? everything else, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, too many sinister comebacks are possible. Well, it's, it's one of these things. I, I'll tell you, one of the best things for me was one of my favorite people that I tour with is Judith Owen. Now okay. Judith is married to Harry. She, yeah, she's married to Harry Shear from Spinal and Simpsons, and, and she's right. absolutely one of the most gifted singer, songwriter, pianists I've ever worked with. And mm-hmm. we've done lots of touring together, and we're still in the middle of more recording at this point. She's in the UK right now, finishing up some stuff, and then she's coming back to LA, and we're going to get back to work here. But we, when we were over on tour in the UK. Um, Every town in, in the UK has a BBC studio in it. And so we were getting all of them. Well, we got to one studio and there was a girl interviewing us who had no clue who either of us were. I mean, zero, not, not an iota of concept. And we're sitting there just kind of, oh God, this is really sucking. And so finally the girl kind of mustered up a question and she goes, uh, Sklar, that's an interesting name. Uh, where does it come from? And I went, well, that part of my family's from uh, Odessa in the Ukraine. My grandparents were from there, but it's kind of a similar name throughout uh, Scandinavia, Finland, Norway. There is some version of Sklar, and in every place, it actually means the same thing. And Sklar means glass blower. Is what it's attributed. Okay. And yeah, it's true. And the girl goes. Tell me, have you have you ever blown it? Hi, everybody. We're <laughs> temporarily experiencing technical difficulties. <laughs> uh, uh, idea what I just said to her. Oh, Jesus. It did that... not mean anything. And then I said, I think we're leaving now. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I was so waiting for that. That's so hilarious. <laughs> Man, well, that, well, you know, that, that's pretty cool. 
Um, but there's, there's always kind of, you know, you would get all these weird things, you know, that people would kind of think they were being cool. It was like early, early on, people would say, you know, with James Taylor, you know, I hear his friends all call him Jamie. <laughs> and I go, yeah, okay. The minute somebody comes into a gig and says, oh, I'm a friend of Jamie's, we call security and have them removed because we <laughs> have them, you know, kind of stuff. I mean, it's just it's so much silliness and nonsense. But I would say for the most part, 85 to 90 percent of everything that's ever happened in this business is positive and I'm enthusiastic about. It's not like there's any weird stuff going on. It's uh, yeah. everybody's pretty hardcore professionals about what they do. Otherwise, we wouldn't have all be sitting here 50 plus years later still working. Right. You know, so, Absolutely. Yeah. So, I enjoy I enjoy every day that I get to do, make some music. I just went through. Here we go. Here we go. Come All on, right. Lee. Come on back. I see Veronica's legs. They're looking pretty good. What are you doing, Veronica? What's not my legs? <laughs> hey, Veronica. How's it going? How are you? Good, good. Thanks. For good morning. This good is morning. Queen Lizzie. Oh, there he is, the blue tongue lizard. Oh. She's beautiful. If you really got to have a blue tongue. Sure is that her making that sound, or is what's the other sound? Oh, that's the birds in the background. My son's parrot. Oh, ah. oh my gosh, you have such great. He's she's beautiful. I want one. I need one now. I need one huh. or three. How, how she's affectionate. Like you don't expect them to be friendly, but she seeks him out. Oh, cool. what's her name? And her name's Queen Lizzie. Worms, things like that. What was that? Sorry. Do you, what do you feed them, him? Um, crickets and mealworms and oh, yeah. moths and things like that when there's, or blueberries, a fruit, Guinness lots when of he fruit. Gets, uh, feeling testy? A little Guinness for him? <laughs> no. I dare say, I'm, my 18 year old, who knows? Who knows what he's fit? <laughs> <laughs> well, she seems to be doing 18 year old to 18. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's just such a friendly girl. That's awesome. Aww, and is is that their normal demeanor? Is they're just very laid back? And not really. No, they're, they're not even friendly to each other. They like solitude. They stay on their own. Wow. So you got a you got a very unique one then. Yeah, because she came as a um a little baby. She'd been dug up in um, the boy's father's yard, and their dog kept trying to to kill it. So they've um, decided it had to be a pet at my house. Oh, there we Expensive go. pet. I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, Buying really? tickets sure like on a regular basis and the the heat mats and they have to have UV lights and you to change their wow. um, scenery all the time. Uh, are they considered dinner by the wow. Aborigines? I don't know. I don't know. I know Goannas yes. well, but they're quite a bit larger, so oh, this yeah, might be like a snack. <laughs> Don't those things, Something uh, to pick they, their teeth with. Guanas bite, don't they? Yeah, mice lizards do, but you know, if you provoke something, it's going to bite. Uh, <laughs> that's my way. I just I had a snake once in my car, and I provoked him by shutting his tail in the door, where he latched onto my knee a few times. It was quite exciting. I had years of therapy to combat it, and still, if, a, if something rolls out from under my seat, I almost shit myself. I'm like almost, and my. <laughs> My kids used this to torment me over the years. Um, like we had a rubber snake, and after that episode, when I see rubber snakes in my proximity, I, that's when I grab my weapon in Florida. Florida's like Australia. Everybody's crazy and so, drunk, and half of them have guns, and they're just nuts. But I know you guys don't have the gun problem there. But um, so yeah, that's you, it. They took them all off us years ago. Do you? Um, what are you up to with with the COVID thing going on? You're out in your yard with your do. do do all the ladies come out and show off their reptiles to one another, like English ladies? Like <laughs> well, we're not locked down to... very much where I am, I have to be honest. I've been blessed with being in the luckiest place on the planet, I think. We haven't yeah, had many lockdowns at all. Excellent. Wonderful. Excellent. Can, can you, where yeah. you're at, can you drive around? Are you out of lockdown and all that stuff? Yeah, we're out of lockdown. I'm working again at the moment, so. 
Great. Art parties will only happen when there's no lockdowns and no uh, and the restrictions are, are less. Because wow. we've got to be able to have at least ten people in the room to make it um financially viable. Sure, mm. sure. I see. Wow. Well, gosh, what... hopefully this uh, miserable will pass. My camera's shaking like shit. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, I know you're just excited to be talking about a blue-tailed lizard to the millions of viewers. It's just now. chilly outside at 6 o'clock in the bloody morning is what it, it is. is. Oh, geez, yes. Well, thank you for showing us and bringing thanks her on, and thanks for coming on. on. Yeah, we My pleasure. Her name, or her name? Queen Lizzie. Her name is – I call her Queen Lizzie. I think um, my son calls her Stripes. <laughs> original. We're all very original oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you so go. My dog was named Spot. I don't know why. <laughs> Can't imagine. My first stuffed animal was named that too. Yes. Spot. Thank you so uh, yeah. much for for coming on, Veronica. Thanks, yeah, I really appreciate it. On, Veronica. My well, pleasure. Love you, you. you. You know, wake up. Do you have any great plans for the day other than petting your lizard? Art party tonight. So I've got to get myself back hey. to sleep. So I'm awake enough for tonight. I've got to right. got to keep. Well, you sleep well. You enjoy it. Uh, mm -hmm. All your dreams will be of the live with Neve show today. They're going to get weird. <laughs> we don't even know where we're going with this. <laughs> Thank you so much, Veronica. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye. That was so nice Man, of her. She's so sweet. Got she out is. Her, cr her critter. And fact, that was we so have to encourage that for the month of December since we usually do an animal right, yeah. fundraiser. We should have a live with Neve where I will bless the beasts, so to speak. <laughs> I'll baptize them into the church of the subgenius. <laughs> okay, it's time for a break. Let's go to that. <laughs> oh, taking all the fun out of it. Here we are, half past the hour, live with Neve. We'll be right back. Oh. <laughs> Hey there, it's Kevin Sorbo here, and you lucky, lucky, lucky people, you are you are live. You're live with Nev or Neve or Neve Nevi. I don't know. I can't say the dude's name. Anyway, you're on live with him, so I don't know. I guess that's a pretty good thing. <laughs> Right, all right. The moment you've all been waiting for. The halfway point. The halfway point between sanity and crazy. So think about it this way. You've got Gary Busey over here. And over here, you have Sigmund Freud. Who the fuck is crazier? Ask yourself. They both like Coke. I think they both like uh, family play, so to speak. I'm not sure, but... Um, I'm not sure where we're going, but I do see a comment up there, which I must uh, allude to. All right, Pammy. How are you, babe? Here we have Pam Ryan from Project Pets. My girl Pam is the best, and she'll be uh, leaving us and heading down south uh, in a while. And we're going to miss her, but she can watch from down in South Carolina. I believe she's relocating. Um, so, uh, Julie, we have uh, some time to talk for a bit. Tell me, what is your best experience on the Live with Neves show yet? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Um, I can't say every week, right, or every show, can I? That doesn't count? Nah, you know, some, of them have been, some have been, you know, better than others, but I think they're always pretty good. I mean, I, I've never gotten off and been, like, really angry. When I first started doing it, before you came on and brought some order to this chaos in my world, <laughs> um, you, you, I know you had to go, oh, God, I got a lot to do with this guy. But uh, no. it was fun. Um, you were guest first, and um, and it, it was funny because I had high hopes for your band. And uh, the second band really kept me entertained. I, I did a complete psychological profile on that tour, including the girlfriend who almost attacked you. That was good. <laughs> if she's listening. If you're out there, if you want to fight with Julie, you got to call me. We can arrange it, the details. Um, I got a contract already drawn up. Uh, she would love to meet you at professional wrestling and slap the shit out of you. <laughs> oh, my you grab God. Grab her. We'll have a real girl fight there, Julie. That's big. Look at this. We're getting arthropods flying in the, in the studio. Oh, good here, God. See, that's what happens when you talk about killing. That's what happens when you talk about killing bugs. Or they come after you. They heard you. I guess so, man. They're going to swarm me tonight. Yeah, I hate they all bugs. That. They crawl on you. They bite. They do all that shit. 
Well, not all of them do that. So only some of them. Some of them are kind of cool. I'm like, uh, I'm kind of like Charlie Sheen in that I drank the tiger blood and the snake venom and stuff. No. Man, t- t- tell you what, man. Shit, put lead in your pencil. Just the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? How long does it last? Is it better than Viagra? <laughs> yeah, Viagra's lame, man. You got to take at least 10 of those to really have a good weekend. Holy shit. Fucking walking around, wow. tell you just put a towel on it and walk around and fucking go get a drink down at the bar. I'll be back in a couple hours. I got one for the babe. Here, just send a card up from room service, okay? I don't even oh. drink anymore, but I would, you know, I could spend a night with, you know, Thanks, get my Pamela. girl all drunk and staggering around. With my luck, she'd probably get sick and there'd be, that'd be the end of that romantic interlude. Well, yeah, you know, no, no, that's not going to work out too well. Yeah. You know, no, you, no. you know. I'm I'm also a gentleman, you know, some poor chick in my life I've ever been with. Uh, she never, like, if they fall asleep, it's like, there's no way I'm going to, like, you know, get all pervy on them. I just, I'd feel Thank like God. too much of a creeper, you know? I'd be like, oh, man, little you're really bit. an icky guy. It would just wilt, man. I wouldn't, I don't roll that way. I need a little more attention. It would wilt. <laughs> oh, God. It's Thank you for wilt that. Like Brilliant. a fucking visual. Like a, a pansy on a spring day. Oh. Hot sun. <laughs> hey, do you want to check out? I think Leland's still here. If I can find the right clip, do you want to want to see what else he has to say, or is that to me? You're giving me the finger, or is that the Leland's Blair bird? That's okay. From Lee. No, you don't get you don't get a finger. Yeah. No. Well, okay. Let me see if I got one. You need one. We, <laughs> Today we'll have on you. it, which oh. my old, my old yeah. right arm. But uh, a guy sent me a song to do for him, but it was uh, like 38 pages of music because all he had was the score. So I sat here with my paper cutter, removing all of the bass parts on it. And here's the chart I used. And I, I had to tape it together. I mean, this is like, you can see how close. Because every one of these is another piece of tape in here. It's another bass line. That's my, that's my bass chart here. Yes. That's a great talented artist there, Mr. Sklar. You know, you do, you do what you got to do. That is can, you, can you bring us some glass bowls? Uh, did anybody in the 60s say, Sklar, blow me a bong, please? No. No, they would just say, blow me. <laughs> No, <laughs> they might say, could you possibly? What is last correct terminology? I, I don't know. See, the hard part of all that was, and the people that knew me, I've, I've been doing this so long, I've never drank and I've never done drugs. Yeah. You are a, wow, you are a That's paramount awesome. of health, man. That you are the best. That explains a lot. What it explains is why a lot of people don't want to be around me because I still have memory. <laughs> <laughs> and there are people have wanted to forget over the years. And I was going, oh, no, that's not right. Let me remind you of what you were really doing that night. And then they go, oh, fuck, oh, get out of here. Oh, oh man, that, that, that's this sounds, this sounds so familiar. We have this often, don't we, Neil? <laughs> uh, it's happened. And I haven't had a drinking going on three years, and it's uh, a whole different world. But we've it's, known each other for, for about 25 yeah. years. So yeah, when, it, uh, when the story thing starts, yeah, we're both like, uh-oh. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> that sounds like a Warren Zevon song up in a weird Very much. Call. So, Very you know, much. I want to ask you a little bit about Warren, because you've been talking about it on the show. I've yeah. been watching your videos. Uh, just a weird question, which, you know, not people always like to focus on the Puritan aspects of Warren's life, which I don't give a shit. You know, I've done a lot of dumb things. But when you, what, when you first did the sessions with him, did you come in and uh, know who he was? And then the first time you met him, was it doing a session with him or did you run into him prior? Yeah, I think the first time I met Warren was probably in the studio. Um, and And we became you know, uh, pretty much immediate friends. I mean, we, uh, it, it was, it, being around Warren was kind of like being around Hunter Thompson or one of these people. Right. They, they're, they're thinking on a whole other level. And if Warren, it really depended on, you know, if he was sober or, or, or not. But in the studio, his focus was like a laser. He right. really kind of knew what he wanted. And one of those guys, I, the thing I loved uh, about Warren so much was, he could write the goofiest kind of, you know, satirical song and then turn around the next song, you're tearing your heart out emotionally. Oh, so yeah. He ran, he ran a tremendous gamut. 
Mm -hmm. as, and his keyboard playing, his guitar playing, everything was really wonderful. And it was all really him. Like Randy yeah. Newman. That kind of, oh, yeah, you know, absolutely. You guys, they're, they're really a package. All their talent comes mm -hmm. to surface in this one presentation. And right. I, I, always loved, I, I would love to have toured with him. Now, the fun part of, like, you know, working with Wadi Tell is the fact that he and Warren, their friendship began when they were in the Everly Brothers band together. Oh. oh. Yeah, so that was, a, that was interesting information from Mr. Leland. I tell you what. Right? One of a kind mm -hmm. there. Just one of a kind hand oh. carved. Do we have another clip? Oh my gosh. Yes, what was that, Neil? I'm do so we sorry. Have clip or... What were you saying? Don't worry. Yes, okay. we do. Today yes, is like we, a Friday party day. Is yeah, it a Friday reason, party today, day? Mike, my feed is incredibly clear. Do you see that? The yeah, I know. You look smiling. awesome. They I mean, you me. always look awesome. Looks so clear. I'm looking on my iPad over here for a preview. Unbelievably clear. I don't, I'm yeah. not sure what's going on. Oh, very nice. I mean, I'm looking at this feed, and it's glorious, high def, 1080. It's rocking. Sometimes it just yeah. looks like shit. I don't know. It's a ghost in the machine, I, I think. Know. You know, there are ghosts That's in the That's the way machines. it always ends up Without being. Our, I know. Without our demonologist, uh, we're kind of lost. You know, what do you do when you lose a demonologist? You got to call somebody um I th I think yeah and then you Dr. lose one Van why did you on lose one really do you know him well, personally you know, they've been telling me i'm possessed for a long time uh, why do you, do you times. burst in flames when you walk inside a church um occasionally i've gotten a little singed i've gotten cut i got it under control now it's sort of like being able to lie through a lie detector test you know you take a couple of valium you walk in there and you're just like uh yeah, man. Uh, on March fifteenth, nineteen ninety, your mom. I guess that's <laughs> not the right answer. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. But you know, um, <clears throat> yeah. So I was in the city last night with Paul. And oh yeah, how was it? Tell, tell me. It, it was great, and you know what I liked about it is I, I. This is the first time in like a long time that I went out, and it just was a nice night. You know, I took the ferry over, which is to me like the best time. I got to read my book. I'm turning into a real nerd. I, I literally read like 100 pages between Highlands and the city. I just was like tearing. How long? Book. How long? How long uh, it, it's, was it? It's like a big, it's big. Um, and it's about neuroscience. No, I mean, how long was it? Oh, the boat ride? It's about 45 to yeah. an hour, depending on the weather. And last night it was just, it was a rainy night. It was, it was werewolf weather, as I call it. It was all foggy and gray out on the water and you know you couldn't really see the city the lights it was like kind of looked like a blade runner thing once you got into the cool. city it was cool it was kind of misty and um awesome and then i got i got my uber and um got up to the venue and you know birdland is just it is birdland it's you know there's only one and it's been around and every every jazz musician and many players have come through there and uh Wow, it's my first visit in my whole life, so I kind of feel wow. It's like, wow, no, now I have to play there. That is definitely on my list. I, I got to play that room. It was just so the, the PA sound was exceptional, as it really? should be at a venue. Like right? Oh uh, yeah. I mean, you don't hear me. I there are some venues. I mean, we are in New York. There's some great, well done venues. Yeah. But you know, when you get around the country, and I was in audio for my whole life, and there's some horrendous shit that's still out there hanging from somebody's ceiling. And what happens is <laughs> sometimes they get a shitty sound company that comes in and they basically sell mm -hmm. them something that's like the cheapest thing they can get and mark it up the most rather than designing a coherent system for the room and taking into account the architecture, the, the, the carpeting, the, the absorption, and the reflection, all those things that make sound a nightmare. And uh, not yeah. there. And being oh my room God. Oh, room no, treatment. oh, my God. The. The voice Everything of, of those singers. Did I did send you a oh. clip? Did you hear the voice on those three? Yes. yes. Everything. The the music. Everything was just. It, it was great. And even even though it was on your phone. I mean. You, I mean, not that right. your phone is bad. You know what I mean. But still, it was like really pristine for that. It, I, I was. You know, Polly. We had the front center table at Birdland, and I have to tell you, it was just. I want to go there when uh, the immediate family plays there. 
There you go. Well, Apple ask Leland. Yeah, I can flip Lee off uh, if I see him flub a note. Lee, I love Lee. I know you never flub a note, but you know. No, he doesn't. I wish if he he's, was. He's... He doesn't. You ever watch him play? He's in some zen, tranquil place, man. The guy. That's what I do. He's like, I know, I know, I yes, because I'm, I'm, the, I'm the same way. You're inside the music. He's inside the music. Yes. I'm inside the music. You're it's inside a, the a, music, a, even though you're a drummer and there's no music. It's a concentration <laughs> thing. I, I, yeah, I'm in, I just hang out with musicians. You know how this, that shit goes. I'm a drummer. Oh, well. You know, I just right, like whatever. to beat things. Uh, I am you're a, a prodigy. Been, Neil a is prodigy. a prodigy. I've been playing since I was 54. Yeah, no. Neil has been playing since you were what, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6? About 8. About 8. Yeah. I, Neil's I a prodigy musician. Shit. The nuns were the nuns were not happy with me, let's just say that. I've gotten smacked <laughs> both sides of my head on the ne- on the hands, had my magazines stolen, had all kinds of shit. Let me tell you something, when you're a young kid, those bitches will scare the hell out of you. And then you'll grow up, you'll have all kinds oh of God. Catholic baggage you'll carry around, and you'll find out that the priest you loved for 40 years is stooping your neighbor. So I don't know. I'm kind of a fallen guy. I Did just, that really I, happen? No, no, not in my case. Thank God. But um, oh. I do know someone very oh, close to me. <laughs> I was just I was I was like, working, holy man. shit. I was kind of working it, baby. How about it? I know you like to work it a lot. There you go. Hey, yeah, I didn't even notice, right? You How do I? About thank that, you. Man. How about Let's, last week? There you go. I, I'm not even a football guy. Man. I have no I idea. I don't watch. Man. Me neither. I don't watch, Go but I, I just did watch the end of the game when they just took it right out of the toilet and poof. And that is why Brady is a bad motherfucker. I know. No matter because he always. You know, I hear so many people who hate the guy, and it's always people I see who be like, they're sitting in their lounge chair, they got a beer, their fat wife, their fucking fat ugly kids. They're sitting there watching football in their little fucking jersey, you know, and they they're all like, ooh 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 ooh. I hate fucking, you know, that guy Brady, he's just an asshole. Well, the motherfucker is Tom Brady, for Christ's sakes. He's got fucking Super Bowl rings out the ass. He's got a much hotter wife than most of these boneheads. And he fucking uh. works harder than anybody in football. He's like Michael Jordan back in the day. The guy's work ethic is just fucking killer. And so it has to, me, to be like that. I look at him and I go, man, he's got the girl. He's got the life. I saw him at the Kentucky Derby. He went in there, man. He he could have been a pimp at a fucking place in New Orleans. He was so stupid. I've had a top hat and shit. You wow. Know, when you're Tom Brady, life is pretty cool. You just got off the golf stream. One of your friends flew you up to the Derby. You're fucking wearing a top hat and a fucking ascot and shit, looking like some kind you of got little tails. Kind of royalty. Little tails going on. You know, well, get rid of the tails. Did, but I like the tails. Hey, have you seen Ted? Ted, the, did you the see doll? the doll? No, the bear. Like a bear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a bear. Yeah. Okay. Well, which what was it? The second movie, I think it was, when they go into Tom Brady's house to go and mm-hmm. um. I, I don't think I've seen, his, I've um, seen the first one, but they went in Brady's house. I like it already. At wait, wait. <laughs> they go into his house, into his bedroom at night because Ted the bear wants to have a child with his wife. But oh. he isn't able to because he's a stuffed animal. So he decides he wants he wants Tom Brady's sperm. So they go break into Tom Brady's house in the middle of the night at into his bedroom. <laughs> and you can use your imagination from there. <laughs> so there was some kind of collection involved with this process. Keep it in medical terms. Oh, oh my god, there was did supposed they, to be um, was it successful? So was was I keep watch it and see. I'm just I, dying because it was know, so fucking hilarious. It's just so off the wall, stupid, funny. And I mean, <laughs> I mean, really, yeah. No, I need Tom Brady's. <laughs> wow. And, and let me ask you this: Sorry, did the bear's, uh, I love wife, it. Uh, did she do the bear too? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I. I yeah. I. Hmm. That's Hammering an awesome that, like, question. Choppy. Bam, bam. I don't know, dude, man. You're gonna have to watch it and tell me and find, figure it out because it's yeah. I'll have to watch it again. Yeah, yeah. I'm always up for up. good. S- I watched Idiocracy recently, and uh, oh my god, that, that movie's was, so awesome! It, it, it's so prescient in that it seems a lot like today's work. Um, it does. Hi, it's Annie. too much for me. Welcome oh. to live with Neve. My girlfriend is struggling in with eight hundred pounds of good food and victuals. 
<laughs> wow, look at that. No, yeah, look at that. I'm, my well, hunger's getting started. Um, what are you guys eating tonight? I don't know yet, but she had two or three bags of good-looking stuff, so I don't know what, but I'm sure it's going to be good. It, and I have to comment on the oh. weather here for everybody in the New York area. This is glorious. It's God's country. I cannot believe I'm in shorts. I'm wearing a Buck T-shirt because I feel like I'm in Florida, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a yeah. big fan of uh, professional football at all, and people who know me know that I don't give a crap. I don't know shit about it. I know enough about it to get by. Yeah, I'm not. The thought of sitting and yeah. watching that shit for three or four hours, fuck. And, and with the Can't way they're it. going, uh, at least this year's, uh, the, the music coming up is a little better. Um, it, it's, oh, it is all good. R&B and hip-hop. But, you know, at least they've got Snoop Dogg there, which will... Oh, yeah. I, I like Snoop. You know, he'll come out there and Me do too. something cool. He's... And, uh, no, but yeah, he's I mean, the man. I'm Dr. sorry. Dre. Those guys oh, are going to come out and show dude. everybody else how to do it. Believe me. Is that what they're doing? Are they bringing, like, all those guys back and putting well, them on stage know. together? I, that I, will I, be fucking crazy. I saw the list crazy. the other day. It's going to be pretty you awesome. Did? They're going to have... I, find... well, I don't know <sighs> who's coming, but I know... Um, for, for whatever reason, I yesterday just sat and had some time and I had a, I was just playing random things on YouTube and I was listening to Fight the Power, found out why Flav always carries a clock. You think about it, Flavor Flav can bitch about having no education, coming straight out of the, he has straight his... out of Compton, and all he does is stand around and make grimaces while fucking dancing with his stupid clock. He does <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> is he on you know, the list? Is he going to be there? I, I don't know. I doubt it. I doubt it. They oh, probably okay. won't let him. Security will catch him at the drive in at the driveway. Drag him out of the car with that clock. Kick his ass. Take did the clock. Did you notice? Like, beat him on television and end up. I, I mean, I'll tell you one thing. The guy's got some horrific tooth work. Jesus Christ, he's got some toothuses. He's bad. Well, He's almost like Beetlejuice. So I'm hoping Beetlejuice got his teeth fixed. I understand somebody fixed the guy up. Oh, if that's I was good. Beetlejuice, God bless I'd him. say, fuck y'all. I got my fucking toothies. Yeah, you, know? you know, well, he did it for it a long time and he used that. It did make him yeah. famous. I love Absolutely. scary movies. You know, I'm a huge Mar uh, Wayans Brothers and Wayans yes. family fan. Yes. I love, I love Marlon is my favorite. I love Marlon. The whole time they were on, they kicked Saturday Night Live's ass on almost every episode oh, they did. I mean, they just had the writing, the directing. Well, Quincy Jones everything. Productions. Hello? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, Quin he did Quincy produce Jones it. is like, yeah. Well, fuck this up on my fucking watch. <laughs> no, man. You know, I mean, they were. It, it, it really does. And you know what? I was. We were allowed to watch it at you know oh, yeah. the age we well, the you know, very we young were like age we were in age so you know I just no i was like yeah what, actually you are remarkably cancer? close holy shit it's scaring <laughs> the hell out of me anyways it was a great show all the movies subsequent movies the whole family i and again i'm in love with um marlon wayans i just think he's the oh, hottest yes. cutest funniest oh. most hilarious <laughs> guy ever he's just got he's such a great personality <laughs> I, I liked a uh, spooky, <laughs> scary movie too. Though. That's my idea of a Halloween favorite. <laughs> that Ed, did you Wine and, <clears throat> Ed, uh, what has got James Woods, which to me, the exorcist yes. scene is one of the finest bits of, of cinematography ever done. <laughs> James flipping, is so great. Flipping <laughs> things to the chicks. Like, mm, thank you. Spinning head, <laughs> puking up. And then he starts rutting with her and the other priests like, uh, oh, Father, uh, that's not part of the ritual. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, so and disgusting he... is when then he gets off her and he's standing there looking at her and he's like, you know, it's like, and she's like, <laughs> and then they start puking and it's, oh, man. Then you got the Winans, which made me think of him, Weed Man there. He's stumbling yeah, that was Marlon. Out of his mind. That's, that's Marlon. Marlon, yeah, with his hair yeah, all that. He, no, his hair Marlon. all he's had so the big funny. ganja head and yeah, that was some funny television. Great and then he got rolled up into a joint. He was rolled up into a I joint remember, by the that's house. Right. And and what was the creepy <laughs> and then guy? He was that, lit on fire. The guy with the, the that hand, was Chris. You know? Um, uh, yes, uh, Chris. Um, uh, Chris. Um, oh God, from, what's his last name? Um, oh shit! I yeah, he had a TV show. Chris. Jeez, what is his last name? Uh, he was in uh, um, Michael J. Fox, Back to the Future, I think. Is that who it is? He was in back. No, no. Um, not that big uh, crazy guy. 
No. Um, here, wait. Hold on a second. I might actually get it's, Chris it's Hansen. Funny. All those years. Oh no, wait. Chris yeah. Elliott. Chris Elliott. Chris Elliott. Chris, Chris Elliott. Elliott. That's, That's right. right. He 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 was perfect, That'd man. When he's stuffing the turkey. Oh. Now that man's got some culinary skill. <laughs> and when he's like, he's trying to rescue the starts, girl. No, he's grab my strong hand. Sauce. <laughs> But, but no, the best part was was when the girl was saying, you know, and he's like, grab my strong hand, grab my strong hand. And it's the really fucked up hand and the it's fingers the and everything. Hand, yeah. And he's like, it's my strong hand. <laughs> She's like, no. Oh, oh man, that, that, that was oh, a great God. character. And and, and um, the professor, I wanted to play that role. That was just the best. He, he really played that <laughs> great. He was just oh, such a slimy a- guy. I loved it. He's like. Well, you know, you oh, what's his name? And you, it's time to experiment. Oh, oh, I think you should get away for the weekend. Just come on up to my cabin, you know. It's like that is that ever, is the great, wonderful, and I can't even think of his name now. It just escaped me. Have you ever seen the movie Li, or the show Lilyhammer? Uh, uh-uh, I've heard of it. it it's it's um, oh, it's got Silvio, um, New okay. Jersey guy, of course. Um, John Stephen Van Zant uh, played ah. the mobster. And he's in the witness rehabilitation plan, and he's over in Norway. Mm-hmm. And he's, it's got all these subtle, um, uh, has uh, Sopranos references, some cast members. Really funny, super funny. And uh, all I can tell you, it's worth watching. Um, really, really sarcastic and funny. And oh, fun. It, it, it's just got some crazy stuff. There's one guy who's like a counselor, and he's taking all these young girls up to the cabins and just... Schwitz. and he's like this old <laughs> pervert and he's been doing it for years they finally get pictures of him car- cavorting with the young co- co-eds and um he gets fired and then he kills his girlfriend and it's like great fun i mean it's great entertainment and i just read this. he said he may consider going back to do it again oh great get it all together which it, when they took it off i was like oh man it's just starting to get kind of a vibe between the actors where it's really running on its own legs like a band Right, right, right. Yeah, they got to get that you know, that energy and stuff that going. Cohesion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and that was something that um, the Sopranos movie, you know, the uh, other people of New- of Newark or whatever, the other saints of Newark, very disappointing. Um, oh, yeah, Caddyshack is always great. In fact, we have to get Bill Murray on the show. It's, I'm going to oh, God, time and effort to that. <clears throat> yeah, if you can I, do you know, that. The only way to do it, you have to submit to him. And I will forward you his submission um, requirement. Oh, oh, you did tell me about this. Yes, yeah, send him over to me because I want to do it. You you were well, telling you sharing to, it with you me. You can tell him that he can. Um, we'll have to figure it out, but it's probably gonna have to entail him staying here for the weekend because he likes that part of the the aspect of it. So to speak. Yeah, uh, it has He's to good... include golf. Of course, our movie has to include something related to golf. Of course, yes. Hence the scene in Zombie Land with Bill yes. Murray. Exactly. And on the golf, course. <laughs> and he talked about some of the people who he's worked with who did it that way. Just nobodies and ended up getting him. So, so well, and it, there you are. I think, you know, we'll tell him after um, we do our thing that now that we've sent him what he wanted, we have our own questions and terms. <laughs> He'll appreciate that, I'm sure. Must, so, must ride with me at high speed on mountain roads <laughs> while, you know, doing antisocial things. I'm sure he'll love it. So we'll yeah, we'll, sure we'll work will. on that. So hey, so we're coming up to the top of the hour. So tonight, yes, and so. actually, in what an hour you're going to be? An hour and a half. There? I'll be down there. Yeah. And I'll you're going to be down thing. again. Yes. At the twenty second. Uh, what is the borough? I'm so sorry. I keep butchering I will be at it. The rec hall here in Highlands, New Jersey, and we are having oh. the Highlands Horrible Film Festival. Horror film festival. Horror film. Yeah. And it's going to be great. And uh, got a lot of friends coming down, and I look forward to it. So if anybody here in town uh, catches this before the show, I'll see you in an hour or so. And if not, you can catch it right here on this on 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 live with Neve, right? And we're going to be yes. you're going to be we'll live be streaming. Mm-hmm. We'll be live streaming. About seven o'clock, he said. Is that it? Yes. You'll be live yep. streaming. All right. So back here, guys. Twitch, I, I, YouTube. We will uh, see you back in a little bit, and then tomorrow um, we have more to talk about. We do. Yes, we do. We have a lot going into more tomorrow. So have fun, guys, and we will see you soon. Have a great weekend, everybody. You've been on Live with Neve. We'll see you next time. Have an excellent day and enjoy the weather wherever you are. We love you, and thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.